This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to. You can do anything I want to. Now we're cooking with evil guys. What the voice of people? I'm watching this show. Bigot rape and discrimination. The crimes which are weakening America. Hey, let's get this party started. Mom? <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this uh, week's podcast. We have a very special guest today. It is our friend Ron, a.k.a. the Polish Popeye, a.k.a. the guy that's fucking Jay's mom. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing today? <laughs> well, I was better about five minutes ago, asshole. Yeah, yeah. This yeah that's, is a, a, that's an image you'll never, ever get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the whole hour show today, we're going to uh, have Ron explain what Jay's mom's butthole looks like. <laughs> Is it more balloon naughty or starfishy? Uh, uh, it's a combination platter. <laughs> I think we call it the poo-poo platter. <laughs> the poo-poo platter. God, that's horrible. So with that being yeah, well. said, um, we have a beer that was actually picked by Ron today. Um, would you say it's your favorite beer, Ron? I, it's got to be in my top five. Top five? Yeah. Okay, we'll get a picture of it here. Um it's old Founders Dirty Bastard Scotch Style Ale. It is 8.5% alcohol, and it's a barley barley wine, right? Correct. It's a wee heavy. A wee heavy. It's a wee heavy. <laughs> we all fat. <laughs> Just Jay. But anyways. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Just because you're white doesn't mean you need to say it. Yeah, I know. You're fat, whatever. Well, I'm not exactly skinny. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, it's... Um, where is Founders from? Anybody know? Michigan, I believe. Michigan. I believe it should say it on the label. Yeah. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. Grand I Rapids, that's where Michigan. It's from. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Hopefully, we don't get too shit faced. <laughs> yeah, it's a barley wine. <laughs> well, it's a Scotch ale. Scotch Whatever. ale, we heavy. It tastes very barley wineish, like I uh, going out to kill a bunch of Vikings and shit like that. <laughs> it's definitely a beer that you're not gonna drink 12 of I mean, yeah, I know. if you do god bless you you're gonna be on the <laughs> well, floor ron will ron will drink 12 of well them. It, maybe there is a possibility of that <laughs> yeah and, and he'll wake up without a fucking hangover to the asshole yeah. yeah well that's the sad part have you ever had a hangover in your life uh i can count on one hand how many <laughs> i've had <laughs> oh uh, man it's disgusting yeah it is <laughs> i can count on one hand how many times i've ever vomited from drinking <sighs> not me I need more hands and toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Or just more practice in the alcohol department. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I actually, I hardly ever drink anymore, surprisingly. I don't know. <laughs> no, you really don't. I know. Except on this show, that's about it. Well, dealing with Jared, you probably will drink more. Yeah, he's always getting short with me. <laughs> God, you people are fucking brutal. Oh, this whole show, we're just making fun of you. <laughs> yeah. In case like, you want to be on the show, is like, can I make fun of Jared? Sure. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Sign me up. That's basically all we do here. <laughs> all right. Well, let's pretend to be be a beer aficionado, aficionados for a moment. Uh, it's got a lot of malt to it. Yes. Very, very little in the hop department, but a lot of malt. Yes. Yeah, which is more true to the style of a Scotch ale. You right. Know, very malty. Very uh, almost like a buttery mouthfeel to it. Yeah, it's buttery. It's got a lot of uh, like caramel overtones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Something I drink out of a wine glass. <laughs> well, I'm fucking a girl in the ass. <laughs> as long as you hold the door for her. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about that later. I found out some news today or yesterday. All right, let's not forget to rate the beer this week. <laughs> yeah, Rod, if, if you were going to go ahead and rate this beer out of five stars, what would you rate it? Um, Just knowing that it's my style of beer. It's a big beer. It's a heavy beer. Um, I'd rate it a 4.2. 4.2. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just because I think you got to leave margin for error because they're really, to me, can't be a perfect beer. Yeah. Because everybody's palate is different yeah, and what exactly. they enjoy. Yeah. So you got to leave a little margin in there for those who aren't into big beers. Huh. All right. Yeah. I mean, so we definitely recommend it. I like it, but just don't drink more than like two. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, don't plan on doing shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes, this is not a beer you want to have three or four or five and jump in a car and go for a joyride on. <laughs> to Sheets, because that's what people do out here. They get drunk and they think it's a good idea to go to Sheets. <laughs> yeah, and the sad part is, 
It's so far away, really. <laughs> I know, it is. <laughs> and it's, it's not where, exactly a straight road. Yeah, and it's where all the state cops sit. And it's just like, I've known so many people out here that have gotten DUIs going to Sheets. Because it sounds like a great idea being wasted at 3 in the morning. But whatever, it's none of my business. Well, that's, that's piss poor planning. <laughs> yeah. Go to Sheets first and then get exactly. drunk. Exactly. Those hot dogs stay for a while. <laughs> In fact, they've probably been there a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't care. I'd still eat the fuck out of them, whatever. <laughs> You'd eat the fuck out of a lot of things. Yeah, it's as long as she's 18. <laughs> it's wow. better than the dude up the street. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... Uh, <laughs> dude up the street, that'd be overaged. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's more accurate right there. <laughs> I know, Jay, I always say, I always make, like, fucking pedophile jokes and shit, and Jay's like, you're fucked up, and then he plays that. And then he usually plays a chainsaw sound after it. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the zipper. Oh, yeah, exactly. And I'm the one fucked up. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. I didn't need the whole zipper thing. <laughs> that's putting it a little over the edge. Yeah, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. All right. <laughs> With it. What about your mother? <laughs> We should have a little tally system going up in here. How many times we make fun of Jay's mom? I don't make fun of her. I love her. <laughs> you so have I'm, to love her. That's why I married her. <laughs> How long have you been married now? Oh, you're the uh, one that keeps nine track. years. Around It'll nine. be ten years in September. Jesus, yeah, we actually been married, um, dating, and actually being together is uh, like eleven years, twelve 11. years. Jesus Christ, somewhere in there. I can't even keep one around for a month. Because <laughs> I can't hold the door open. Because you're an evil prick. <laughs> <I know. laughs> All right, tell the story. <laughs> yeah, well, you got. All right, so it. I see this girl for about like I don't know what was this like six months ago, and I was like, all right, Casey, I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna try to be a good person. <laughs> and I was, I was doing it right and everything. I was, I even she was vegan, so I took her to uh, Ron's restaurant, and he, you know, he's experienced cooking vegan food and stuff. So, because uh, she wanted to go to Red Robin, <laughs> and I was like, what Red Robin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, and I thought everything was, and all of a sudden she just stopped talking to me. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So about yesterday, I had a friend say, yo, I found out why she stopped talking to me. I was like, why is that? <laughs> She's like, when you went to the movie theater, you didn't hold the door open for her. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> At least you didn't try the popcorn trick. <laughs> I know. God, the, the, the popcorn trick was, uh, I got no salt in the popcorn, just, so, you know, so maybe I could try it so it didn't burn my dick, but. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and of course, you couldn't get any lube because she doesn't eat butter. I know. And that's the horror. <sighs> so you're getting a high and dry popcorn truck. Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking, I know. But you didn't even get that because you I didn't know. hold the door. I can't, I can't even hold the door. <laughs> it sucks when you get one of the kernels stuck in the tip of your dick. Though. That's the problem. Yeah, you got to piss that shit out with force later. <laughs> you, like Jim Carrey and me, myself, and Irene trying to piss and it's going off the side. I love that Deflected. Movie. Yeah, what if you got like a in curl in your dick too. and you like were trying to pee it out and it came out as a full pop kernel? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a fever. Yeah. 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 Well, if not, fever. you're about to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and maybe a few tears being shed in the uh, process. Yeah, that would fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lay off those buttons. <laughs> oh man! But what? Uh, no, uh, that's funny. That's what your mom said too. Dude. <laughs> yeah. No, she likes my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever beats the time when Casey was working in the kitchen with Ron. Uh, we we wore chef coats at the time. <laughs> Casey's reaching back and fiddling with Ron's nipple. Turns around. Oh my god! I thought I was playing with your butt. <laughs> yeah, I was just being weird. I was like flicking his butt, but I didn't know it was his nipple because I wasn't looking. <laughs> Ron, of course, hey, had a big shit eating grin. I forget. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I was like, uh. Ron, of course, had a big shit eating grin on. Yeah. I'm like, hey. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't realize what he was doing. He stopped. That, yeah. was, that was the worst part. Oh, man. Us working together. We have so many stories. <laughs> we used to torment each other, all of us. Some yeah. of them very illegal. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they should be. Yeah. People doing dishes, pouring marinara sauce in the fucking, <laughs> where, where the fucking chemicals go. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> that was did. Greg. <laughs> oh, Greg's in jail now. Hi, Greg. <laughs> yeah, another one he did is spray painted Ron's leg when he was wearing shorts with uh with with room temperature pan spray. He was doing it for about two minutes before Ron notices him. that? <laughs> Greg. Greg. Did he? Oh, yeah. Fucking asshole. You know, remember we used to keep it next to the pizza yeah. oven so yeah. it'd be like room temperature? He yeah. sat there and just painted Ron's leg wet. When I caught on, I turned around. He started running. He was like, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> just kept running. <laughs> they should have made that place into a reality show. Yeah. I remember one time we were down in the basement and you, Ron, you took an old carrot 
and he threw it and it hit Jeremy in the back of the head. <laughs> so he, he took a thing of grill cleaner and threw it at you and it broke open all over his leg and Ron's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. Because <laughs> that shit, it gets on you. It's it'll corrosive. Break, yeah, it'll break yeah. your skin open. You'll start I mean, bleeding. I care. It's one thing. Yeah, it sucked and I still can't believe it. You know, I'm not a pitcher. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're more of a catcher. Like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I see. I laid off the mom jokes, and all of a sudden you get cocky over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you're not laying it more under his mom. Oh wait, never mind. You already are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's married now. He ain't laying it very often. Uh, I don't you know. gotta tire him out first. I don't know. I think Ron has a. Sex She's 59. Drive on the She's pretty much tired. <laughs> she, she does not get away. I'm six foot three with long arms, <laughs> and we live in a small apartment. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, she got options. <laughs> Well, then. <laughs> Options for people to have a conscience. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the subject. <laughs> so this chick, is you know, what the hell is the deal with all this? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I give up. Whatever. I, I don't mean, you were like, an actual gentleman with her, which is so unlike you. It's not even funny. I know. I was trying this maybe time. Maybe that was, was a problem. You weren't being yourself. I know. I, I think I just she just needed to put in her ass. <laughs> I've always said if you... <laughs> That is just not right. <laughs> we have a sound effect for everything. I'm guessing so. Jesus. Hey, can I add one to your sound effect board? What's what that? Would that be? <laughs> How Ron and Tony get on dot org. <laughs> Fuck you. You can just get it off of there and play it if you want. Free subscription for the first month. <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> I haven't played that one in a while. Uh-huh. Uh, you playing that actually reminds me how shitty our recording was back. It was our first episode. That was our first episode. Oh yeah. my god, the shit was hilarious. I have not watched them all. I have watched a few of them. Yeah. Uh, mainly because I don't have time to do a lot of things. So mm. uh, between work and hunting and getting up early and doing all these things, it's like you know, I don't have time to watch it at night. But I've seen the first couple episodes I watched, and then I watched the last two, and there's a huge difference between you ass monkeys. I mean, you have completely grown up and aren't fidgety and aren't looking down and like, you know? what, what, are we, what are we doing? It, what yeah, are we doing? yeah, just it flows. What to do with my hands, man? Yeah, we had no oh, yes, idea you what we were doing. Don't lie, you know what you're doing. With your hands. <laughs> and just and like, yeah, I was watching the older episodes. The first reminder, I was cringy. trying to have sex. Yeah, I was like trying to put in her belly button and shit. <laughs> Have you never seen a porno? Not Didn't when you I grow was up younger. at AOL? I remember actually. I remember uh, you remember my cousin. Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Oh man, hands. But anyways, <laughs> she uh, was not Ashley Brown. Let's let's, let's clear that. Yeah, it's up not because, you, Ashley Brown. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, there, he knows several Ashleys. Not our neighbor. <laughs> uh, yeah, and some of them intimately. And uh, I'm not the one that ate a Dorito off her nipple. <laughs> uh, that yeah. makes two of us because I did not do that either. You know what she Fact, looked I've like? I've never seen her naked, which I'm very blessed for. I, I have. She, she looked like she could have played for the fucking Steelers as a linebacker. <laughs> oh, you know what she looked like? She looked like one of those guys who's always trying to steal Popeye's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, with the, the little, little fucking eyeliner skirts dudes. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of looked like Kilroy. That but thing her shoulders, they used to she's like. You yeah, know. she just walked around. And she's like, I remember she used to eat shit out of a trash can <laughs> at the restaurant. We, we all... should have called her Oscar. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, like chicken wing. Ugh, eat chicken wing. Oh man, she used to eat shit out of the garbage. Shit. I remember the first time I ever hung out with her. We were at the bar and she was stealing my cigarettes. She was asking me for crack and shit. I'm like, I was like, this is the people we hired here. You're you're lucky that she didn't really pursue fucking you harder than she did. Because if you she really wanted to, you wouldn't have had a choice. I didn't fuck her. I didn't fuck her. I was in a fucking coma trying to pass out. And she I, tried to wake me I'm up. I'm just saying. Oh, if she if, woke you up. <laughs> if she wanted it, you wouldn't have been able to stop Didn't it. she have a hold, hold of you? And No, she just laid next to me and she's like, let's uh, uh, let's see that thing. <laughs> Ugh, like little man. Ugh, break little man. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was, it was pretty god awful. <laughs> but that's my life, you know. God had nothing to do <laughs> with that. Did he hold the door for her? Or is, that, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Speaking- I call it holding the butt cheeks open so you can get in better, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of some feminist bullshit, since pl- clearly uh, you you were dealing with one, uh, I found some. My my uh, my sister in law showed this to me of all people, and uh, apparently one feminist group here thought it was a good idea to take a bunch of little girls, nine or ten years old, and parade them out on a YouTube video where they get drop a bunch of f bombs. So uh, this is where it gets really not safe for work. <laughs> yeah, I I've take actually, a look at this crap. I've actually seen this before, and this is what people this is what pisses me off about feminism 
Feminism, I think they get it confused with being a cunt. <laughs> well, there, there's feminism that's about equality, and then there's feminism that's about superiority. Yeah, that's like things get. Stupid. I hear a lot of oh, like a woman that's a fucking bitch. Oh, you can't handle a real woman. When when is a real woman being a fucking bitch? And this is just what it. But I, I only watched this video just briefly here a minute ago, and we only watched what a couple seconds, three seconds. seconds of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's the first time I've seen it, and it's. Horrific. I yeah. mean, to use children to exactly get your word across like this to me is is, is garbage. And I that's mean, what that's, I was saying. You don't use children. Yeah. Like remember that. last week I was talking about how people use children as like a fucking oh for the children. Yeah, exactly. So All let's right, watch play play, play a little bit of this. Pretty, pretty. What the fuck? I'm not some pretty fucking helpless princess in distress. I'm pretty fucking powerful and ready for success. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck or the fucking on equal and sexist way. Society treats girls. Uh, I'm going to go with the little girl saying fuck. So, yeah, I'm done. I can't yeah, watch that. Uh, <laughs> and, and the whole thing, the thing's like two minutes long and it's all that. <laughs> See, and this is why like people wonder why I don't fucking date anymore because you have fucking nonsense like this. But what do those children know about sexist? I know. Anyway, I know. Like, I mean, they're they're obviously clearly in elementary school. I'm pretty sure little Johnny down the street doesn't have the first freaking clue about being a sexist. I know, and that's the thing. What suffering? What feminism? What sexism have these girls discovered? What the kid, the one kid that's a boy, got the play doh before she did, <laughs> or or like he got extra nap time? Is this is what's unfair? Like, God. I mean, so regardless funny. whether or not you have a real point, and I don't even care what you're talking about. But when you start to lobby children and use them to to push your agenda, you're not being even remotely decent. You're being a piece you're, of shit. Yeah, you're you're being garbage. I mean, you're literally being. Uh, you know, when you take a child, to me, it's almost child abuse like. Yeah, to use be. to use them to sell your message, dropping the f bomb at that age, and you encourage that, and you make a video of it. I just don't get it. You know? I don't either, if, man. If you're an adult <laughs> and you're a woman and you have you know somebody being a sexist towards you, or if you like this world is is holding you down, or the men are doing this <laughs> or whatever. It's cool. I understand. You know, you have the right to speak your mind sure. as an adult. <laughs> exactly. But you do not use your children exactly. to sell your message. I know, because the one line she says, she goes, well, if you find this disturbing that I'm saying the F word, it's better than the sexism and all this bullshit. What sexism are these little girls experiencing? <laughs> little, girls, <laughs> little girls and little boys at that age should be innocent and worrying about which doll or which toy to play with. Yeah, and she wouldn't use yeah. condoms on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> not... <laughs> not worried about what mommy or auntie or daddy or, or or whatever person put that into their cranium said you know to me like i said it's just as bad as uh um spanking your kid too much i mean yeah. you're, you're training these kids to uh act that way and yeah. to me there's there's no place in society for it um if they choose at an older age to uh pursue yeah, uh, feminism and to stand up for their rights. I support the idea. I, sure, I'm fine with that. But they got to be adults. Yeah, that's brainwashing yeah. to me. That's, I mean, that's like should, a pure example of brainwashing to me. It's they should disgusting. be worried about yeah. their arithmetic and and, yeah. and their their multiplication stuff and, and worried about being children, getting outside and playing. You know, not worried about what somebody is shoving down their throats and then making them maybe not making them, but teaching them to be like and, and to do on that video. Yeah is horrendous i know i i, I it's absolutely say. fucking retarded i mean we'll sit here and curse all day but we're grown-ups we, <laughs> we've earned well, the right to be awful jared let's not go that far <laughs> the grown-up well, thing for you is about half mass <laughs> well the, the age <laughs> but his height on the other hand hey where's, that, where's the rest of that beer at <laughs> it should be right behind us <laughs> topping you up <laughs> Like I said, children, do not drink many of these. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I just made a video of them saying fuck, so yeah, why not? Know. You know? Yeah, is, let's, that, is that next? Hey, let's just feed them alcohol all day. Let's, now, let's like, twist them up a joint, too. You yeah, know, yeah. But... Like, I've actually seen no, that's, that video. No, that was Terry's episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and for fun fact, you know, Terry comes on the show or whatever, and his name's Terry the Stoner. He wasn't even hot. <laughs> That's why he was I'm not boring. sure he's not ever high. <laughs> no, he, he wasn't. He didn't smoke that day. Yeah, he goes, I should have smoked. I was really no nervous. No shit. <laughs> I'm like, but Terry. <laughs> Terry, if you watch this, 
It's in your bloodstream, dude. It, it, it's never leaving the amount of weed that you and inhale. He barely talked because he was he was nervous. You know, like why wouldn't you smoke first? I don't get it either. I know we call him Terry the Stoner, and he comes on the show sober. Well, he come in here looking like Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> he has shit coming out of his ears. His yeah. eyes should have been so red they should have put a glow on the camera. I know. I just don't look like heat lamps. <laughs> Are you about wore my beer? <laughs> that's all right. So is your mom later. <laughs> Dang, another mom joke. I think that's like three or four now. <laughs> I'm leaving a tally. <laughs> You're going to have to go through and watch all of these because we're not keeping track. Oh, I, I will. I will. Don't worry. She does not know how to get on YouTube, and I am not teaching her. Because <laughs> I just, last week, I gave her a little insight to uh, how Casey explained our relationship as the guy that's banging Jay's mom. <laughs> First thing she said, they better quit talking about me on there. <laughs> yeah, she hates this show. She fucking hates it. Which but she bought I, one of our t-shirts. Yeah, which is was, yeah, she's like, I support them. I was like, well, then why don't you watch it? She's like, because I know they're going to say something about me. I'm like, you're right. So let's not turn it on. <laughs> I really wait till don't you go to very bed. often. Yeah, but, I just, I remember, I think the one episode, no, I don't think we talked about this, but I remember I, she was looking for something. I was like, just use Google. She's like, we don't have that on this computer. I'm just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but yet she produced the nerd over here. I know. You know, excellent with computers, can fix about anything that's wrong with them, including if he doesn't like it, he just throws them out a window. <laughs> yeah, I have done that. So, yeah. <laughs> Which is normally my approach. If I don't understand, he can't fix it. I break it. Yeah, I, I think we. I think <laughs> even we mentioned, further. I think we mentioned on the show one time. But if not, we uh, we were in like a tech school or whatever. Like that. Yeah, and the teacher told Jay. She was like, "Hey, fix this printer." Jay's like, "I don't touch printers. They burn you." And they, and they it do. was a laser printer. Yeah. yeah. And Jay's like, "If it burns me, I'm throwing it out the window." It burned him, and he threw it out the fucking window. <laughs> and the best part is when I got hauled off to the director of the program. <laughs> he calls he calls the teacher in who had fucking Parkinson's disease too. So she's like, <laughs> I know. I, I, know. I feel she terrible. Touched too many printers. <laughs> <laughs> well, he called her in. He's like, <laughs> he says that he told you, you know, that they're dangerous and he didn't want to work on them. Is that true? She's like, well, yeah. It's like, well, he told you. I know. <laughs> well, I, I remember got no when we first got into the fucking program, she goes, never touch printers or monitors. Even when they're unplugged, they can burn you or electrocute you. So she asked you to fucking work on a printer. I was like, like that fucking Parkinson's shaking that brain around. <laughs> like, I just, God, we were so mean to her. We were terrible. <laughs> I remember at least she didn't watch that last video we watched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jesus. Family. Sir, would you please go to the office? <laughs> Not you, fucking dumb man. <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? Uh, I just don't get it. Whatever. I actually, I seen that a while ago, but I just seen another video that was sort of like that, and it was these white people sitting down saying how white people are horrible people in 2016 and they deserve to do better in 2017. I was like, what? They're like, white people, you've done so much bad in 2016. When are you going to do better in 2000? I was like, what is this? Let's stop with this fucking sexism, racism, <laughs> know, white dude, guilt, <laughs> feminism bullshit. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the world that we live in now uh, is so fucked up. <laughs> I, know. I mean, just completely... You know, you look at this racism card that's being pulled every day in this country. Mm-hmm. What are you <laughs> <know>. talking about? <laughs> I know. Just don't get it, you know, the whole Trump supporters are racist. I support Trump. I, I'm not saying he's the godsend. I'm not saying he's the great holy creator that's going to yeah. fix the whole world. Mm-hmm. But he's our president, and we should stand by him and give the man a chance to do what he's going to do if he fucks up. Guess what? In four years, you find another idiot. <laughs> no. It's just the way it is. That's you what know? I say. You just keep putting idiots in. <laughs> well, maybe... they, they have for quite a while. <laughs> you, you know? keep throwing fried eggs at the wall. One of them's <laughs> going to stick eventually. <laughs> exactly. But I don't understand how everybody got to be a racist uh, because they support Trump or a bigot or, or anything like that. It's just <laughs> a word people like to use. It's to, a defense to, mechanism, it, I think. But I'll tell you what it does do is... This whole protesting, this whole stomping your feet and and being upset about the president, it's not going to get anybody anywhere, first and foremost. But what it is doing is go open up Pandora's box for the next election. If it does not go Trump supporters' ways or conservative ways, then you're going to see this repeat over and over and over and yeah. over, and it's just going to get worse. Yeah. Oh, this is going to snowball. And that's You're what I said. Right. It's, it's the two-party system, because since you have a two-party system, 
every four or eight years, you're going to have half the country upset. It doesn't. It just doesn't work. I mean, to be fair, this <laughs> has been much more divisive than most. But it's, correct. But that's this why is I'm going to snowball. Yeah. Right. I get what you're saying. It, it just it opens up this whole another avenue for our future um, and our generations to act this way, and for it to get worse and worse. And I guess to my point on one of these scenarios is why is it okay? to burn and loot and break other people's shit that did nothing to you. It's, it's not okay. That's stupid people doing shit like that. I, I understand. If you want to have a peaceful protest to get your point across, if you want to try to rally supporters in a grassroots movement to try to make sure people go out to the polls and and, 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 that's and the, vote, yeah. sure, and that's, by all means. But once yeah. you start being destructive, people need to learn. Uh, actually... I, I was speaking to an older person a while back who had participated in the... Uh, who, your get, mother? No. <laughs> uh, this is a shall remain nameless sort of a situation, but they were talking about, uh, you know, protesting back in the day, you know, the 70s, back when Vietnam was going on. It's like people need to learn how to peacefully protest again. Yeah. They don't know how to do it anymore. And that's and that's why I think it's important because governments know how to handle violence. They don't know how to handle peaceful. That's why, you know, fucking God. But they're not handling the violence either. They're I not know. handling I shit. Mean, the whole I mean, the riots just... after, you yeah. know, the, the, the black guy was shot by the white cop in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and I'm not saying the cop was right. I'm not saying the guy was wrong. Yeah. I don't know. It's I wasn't just, there's there. something wrong. Well, there's you, something wrong. Yeah. Right. But the answer is not to go be destructive towards other people's Yeah, stuff. looting and burning shit doesn't get your point And that's across. the thing that's really ruining because a lot of states right now are just trying to get rid of protesting altogether. They can't really... It's a very unconstitutional, but there's a lot of things going on right now that every state is just getting trying to get rid of protesting all together. And let's face it, we could all protest something because, you know what, we're all individuals. We all exactly. think differently. But sure. there's ways about it and not having yep. a protest every five minutes for this and for that and for this and for that. I think we've lost our vision of what it should be as far as a protest, you know, if you're going to be violent, I'm a violent person. <laughs> Let's get it on. But that's why you, I, I, you I have no problem with, it's out. with saying that, you know, I, if I, I don't understand something or something's broken, it I makes break me it, angry. I break it even worse. It'll I'll never work. Mad. I'll I'll smash. Smash. Exactly. <laughs> so, but I know my limits, and I know that's why I don't go to a protest, or that's why I don't go and do these things. If you can't not control yourself from being destructive towards other people, stay home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Break your own shit. Yeah. You know, that's what I do. And that's and what I'm saying. It's not smart, but that's I've, what I do. Yeah, I've known you for probably over 12 years now, I think, like that. Oh, longer than that. Longer than that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. By far. Yeah. Oh, damn. God damn. How old are you? 32. Weren't you like 17 when you 17, started? yeah, 17. Yes, do the math. That's like 15 You're years. You're Polish. You're better. <laughs> like 15 years. Um, I'll never understand dumb Polak jokes. Every Polak I know is fucking excellent yeah, at math. It, it, it basically, it runs in Ron's family. They, they they get angry and stuff like that, but I've never seen someone control it as good as Ron, so it means a lot hearing him say that because I know that that's come. Uh, that's, it just makes sense. You're yes. not getting your... Like, if like you wanna... as, as, as angry as he does get sometimes, you know, over stuff, he keeps it to himself. Like... I'm like that too. You don't talk to me when I'm mad. Just stay away. <laughs> yeah. Just give just me my stay. space. Yeah. Donkey Kong will get sure. over with in about five minutes. Exactly. Leave me alone. I mean, well, like if you want to talk about an actual helpful protest, like what's going on right now, where where people are uh, going to their Congress critters town hall meetings and sitting mm-hmm. there and and talking and saying, "This is what's wrong. Yeah. This is what I'm upset about." This is why I'm mad at you, mm-hmm. which a lot of people are doing right now. That's great. Nah. But to go out and, like, fucking smash windows and steal shit, yeah, but, how is that getting your point across? But the, the, the point of the, the Trump point, I guess, for me is, uh, like I said, it's opening up Pandora's box because now in, you know, four or eight years, whenever he's not in office anymore, whoever gets in there, whether it's another conservative or a liberal, it's just opening up Pandora's box for all this crap. You know, there was a... Back in the... 60s to 50s you look at presidents you know uh they were respected Mm -hmm. um even through uh the 80s the presidents reagan Mm -hmm. there was a big worrisome outcry that he was not gonna be able to do the job because he had no experience for the most part sure But isn't some of that have to do with Trump itself? I, I mean, part of, what I'm saying here is, like, even George W. Bush, who a lot of people disagreed with and didn't like and were unhappy that he became president, he was still far more respected than Trump is. 
And is that a matter of, of the times changing? Is that a matter of people changing? Or is that just a matter of people really do see his presidency as illegitimate? I think it was the media. I just, it was all over the place. I I'm think, still getting emails about how you should hate Trump from Yahoo. And it's I not. I think even, Trump uh, himself. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they, and I agree with Casey about the media because they were pulling so much shit out of his past to different deface him or to, uh, make him look like a jackass. Well, yeah, that whole grabber by the pussy thing. Uh, what guy has not said dumb shit in front of their friends? <laughs> well, know. that's, my that's point, so stupid, you know, and it just doesn't go to Trump. I mean, it goes to football stars. It goes to sure. movie stars. They can't have a life anymore. Nah. We no, have made can't. it so they cannot leave yeah, their exactly. homes. They can't, you know, without the paparazzi trying to take pictures out of them. Everything we were talking about that last week, but that's why Lady Gaga quit music. She was sick of it. She just could not take it. Anymore. And it's sad. <laughs> but as a, a, to answer your point, Jared, it's to me, um, we are all part of different generations mm -hmm. and this generation that's doing the, the loudest protesting, if you will, um, Shall we go with the term millennials? <laughs> no, I was going to say part, uh, trophy participation. Uh, you know. That'd be millennials. Uh, yeah. Um, and it, I'm not saying that they don't deserve their opinion. They do. I, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hold or repress anything or anybody. But at the same time, it's like, get behind the president. Try and make a go of it. You know, because I was never a big uh, Obama supporter. I am more conservative than liberal. Uh, but here again, I was not a big George Bush fan either. Nah. So, uh, But you were respectful. Right. And there has to and be. And you point, should be. Well, there has to be a point in time where, as a country, we have to act as a unified country because otherwise we look very weak to other countries. Yeah, exactly. And I, I mean, it is <laughs> exactly. no secret. Anybody who's seen this show knows I fucking hate Trump wholeheartedly but i'm also an american and i also believe that the man needs to go out and do the job and needs to do it well and if we block every single attempt to do anything that's not going to serve us well and, and i just say like the media just bothers me like these two know it fucking drives me nuts and i'm getting the same shit before the election saying oh obama or fucking trump is the worst president in history blah blah well, blah and it's the same people that said Hillary's going to win by 90%. So it's like, why well, you would know I trust you? Here's the, here's the deal. <laughs> like, All, with, with Trump antagonizing the press like he is, guess what? They're just going to retaliate. Well, the press is shit. And they, they should, maybe <laughs> yeah, they but, shouldn't retaliate, but they're going to. Well, and, and two rights don't make a wrong. No, they, and I agree with you on that. But the, the sad part two is... Two wrongs don't make a right, you mean? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've, only had, I've only had one and a half Yeah, beers. give me another beer, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the beer at? It's back here. He I can't find it. it. Oh, okay. Thank it doesn't get far from thank me. You. <laughs> it doesn't get far from me. <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. I just think the world needs to take a chill pill. Yeah, I agree. Settle down. Let's act like a unified country and support each other. Mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe there will be change. Maybe there won't. And you know what? If you're a Democrat and you're mad... And you don't like what's going on? The the polls, a lot of Congress critters uh, are coming up for re-election in 2018. I go know. vote. And that's what I'm don't saying. Don't sit at home and bitch. People if you just, don't like it, go vote. Yeah, people just got to think more. Like, did you hear about the Don't Berkeley be a rides? Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> yeah, don't be a Colin Kaepernick. If you're mad about the world, go fucking do something to change yeah, it. Don't, yeah, and don't when a burn national somebody's building. Playing, you stand the fuck up. <laughs> yes. And I only say that to him and to anyone else that doesn't stand... Because of our veterans. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't it's be a, a bitch. White, black, purple, pink, whatever our veterans' colors may be, it does not matter. You stand up out of respect for them. Yeah, exactly. If you don't respect the flag, you don't respect the veterans. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, my, you're, you're no better than... for the, thought on that. <laughs> you're, you're no better than them Westboro Baptist douchebags protesting soldiers. Females. Yeah, exactly. So, then, why don't we just talk about David Koresh then? <laughs> yeah, you know, he had his belief, didn't he? See how far that got. Yeah. <laughs> ashes to ashes, just saying. And and I just I see a lot of people do stuff these days. Like, you, you know the Burke Berkeley riots of what was that guy's name Milo that wanted to speak there he was a very heavy conservative uh, Milo Yiannopoulos or whatever the hell yeah the the, the guy from Breitbart yeah who, well, Breitbart is people, fucking garbage but yeah, that's beside the point well a bunch of people from Berkeley I, I don't even really know the guy to tell you the truth but I'm just trying to use an example of you got to watch what you do especially today with the internet and everything like that is so all these people at Berkeley were like he's not and they burned stuff they threw stuff they smashed stuff they basically turned into a martyr on Amazon, his book sales went up like 12,000%. Of course they did. <laughs> and that's the thing. They just didn't get that. They just didn't get that. That's, when you're going to throw that much of a tantrum, people are going to look. Who's this model? I guy? mean, the guy's a swollen <laughs> shitbag. He's no better than like your Rush yeah. Limbaugh or your fucking Bill O'Reilly. But, yeah. I mean, it's just 
And I remember that guy we were talking about was Ben Glack. Or Ben Glack. <laughs> Glenn Beck? Glenn Beck. <laughs> Glenn Is that where ben you're going yeah. I fucking hate him. I hate him. <laughs> now, okay, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, maybe we should you. get away from the politics just a little bit. I don't know. Nah. Uh, no, we're too... I'm, I'm, I'm a registered Democrat. And I'm kind of embarrassed and ashamed to say that in some ways because of the way people are acting. I do believe uh, it, I did not vote. I was hunting, which maybe is not a good enough excuse. Well, um, I, there's no point in our in our in our district. There's no point because it has overwhelmingly been won by Republicans. I mean, not even by a little right. margin for the last 37 years. I think it was. But you know what so changed kind of my no opinion um, is when I bought a business. Yeah, and that really changed my beliefs. In my opinion, from a liberal stance to more of a conservative stance, because um, as a small business owner, it is so hard. Uh, I know they just fucking bend you over and fuck you. It is you, so dude. hard crazy. <laughs> to have a successful business, maintain a very successful business. Uh, you know, there, there's so many things that go into it, but when you see, I guess, my end of it as a business owner. There are so many people with their hands in businesses' Man. pockets. Uh, so many government en government entities um, and insurance companies. Uh, are just it's ridiculous. Um, there's a big debate currently on whether or not we should raise minimum wage. As a small business owner, I can tell you if they raise it to the point they're talking about raising it, like fifteen an hour. Well, even twelve. I think Pennsylvania. I just heard the other day Wolf is pushing for twelve. Uh, which would be a four dollar and twenty five cent increase, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's four dollar like and fifty something right now, like that. Right? It's seven fifty now or seven twenty five. Like seven twenty five, I think. I think it is. So, I mean, we pay above. He pays above that. So yeah. right, but my point is, uh, what people don't get, and they compare it to Walmart's and McDonald's, and <laughs> exactly, they're mega billion businesses. dollar companies. <laughs> Correct, uh, and especially you look at Walmart that buys most of their shit from overseas and mm -hmm. brings it in, so they're not paying minimum wage to the workers who made the product they're paying minimum wage to people to bring up the product and to stock it on the shelves stock boys you know mm -hmm. people in the back uh, working stuff they're paying them minimum wage but they're not paying minimum wage or above for that product to be made they're paying 50 cents an hour in mexico or whatever it is yeah um so they can get away with keeping their prices lower and still making more money yeah uh, and that's why a lot of companies move to other countries. There's so many restrictions. But these days. now they're trying. Uh, Trump's trying to disband NAFTA, yeah. and I know there's been a large outcry of uh, things with that, which I'm going to get into it for a minute. But I want to get back to this minimum wage thing because I'm kind of dominating these two ass monkeys. They're supposed to be making fun of something. <laughs> oh no, no, this is this is the point of the show. By all means, continue. <laughs> and I'm going to play devil's advocate here in a minute when you're done here. Oh, I, I don't, I, and I love when he does that because I play hard to get. Well, not really, but, but go, go ahead, um, continue. Uh, just for f a fact, if minimum wage went up four dollars an hour in Pennsylvania, if they go to that twelve dollar mark, it's going to be like four seventy five increase, I believe it is. And it won't be all at once. Yes, I hear you, but once it does get there, what people don't understand is they will not have any more money in their pockets. Yeah, the they will have some. Increases. Well, the cost of living is going to go up even higher because now if they use sheets earlier and they're fantastic hot dogs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Schmuffins. If they, if they have to pay their people ringing in your food $12 an hour instead of whatever they are now, eight or nine maybe, the price of your food is going to go up. They have to make up for yeah, it Yeah, the customers are going to be the ones who, who eat the cost. Plain right. and, simple. And, and, and unfortunately, that's what we're handed as businesses because we don't want to jack our prices up. But we'd also like to stay in business and maintain making a living. So I did some math. And if you raise minimum wage by the, what they're talking about in Pennsylvania at $4 an hour at a 40-hour work week, each – employee would be getting eighty three hundred and twenty dollars more a year before taxes right if the business has 10 employees that's eighty three thousand two hundred dollars more in payroll they're going to be paying out Jesus. that's crazy i know that's i insane. mean how how can you expect small businesses to continue <laughs> to operate at that cost 
without raising everything to astronomical ends. And therefore, at the end of the day, what most people don't understand is insurance companies are, the, if not the large worldist entity, one of them. And, and they're evil. And, well, yes. they're, they're the most profitable business in the world that I know of. Those motherfuckers. <laughs> so <laughs> at, at the end of the year, paying out workman's comp is going to cost the average employer $1,800 more a year. Now, that does not come out of the employee's pay. Mm -hmm. We're getting an increase. It comes directly out of your bottom line. And that's directly what's going to go to the insurance company. Right. <laughs> and that's just... A, a very small scale mm -hmm. compared to, uh, let's say, a former place we used to work. I won't mention the name. They have 40 <laughs> employees. I did the math. It's going to cost them over $300,000 more if they're paying their people the extra for. And, and they're paying higher than that more than likely. But I'm just using this as an example. Yeah. That most people who are screaming for more money don't understand in the long run. The people that, shit. Well, the people that are going to have more money, it's going to be the government. I know. Because oh, yeah. they could tax you higher rates. I know. So the government's going to raise your taxes. <clears throat> the businesses are going to have to pay more insurance. And what it's going to create is a business is going to have three options. They're either going to have to close because there's no way they can afford to pay these extra fees, jack up their prices to maintain their business, or cut the workforce. Right. So, in the end, you're going to have more people on unemployment. You're going to have more people laid off. And, and, and you know, just it's, I don't know how anything good is going to come from it. And I'm not saying people aren't worth that. I'm not trying to, you know, create a wage war. Um, <laughs> I'm not a union person. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm saying is small businesses can't take it. Yeah. The businesses out there, the Wegmans, the... Um, Walmarts, the, right, the right, McDonald's, right. whatever. You know, Your large corporations. Your large corporations, exactly. Uh, can handle this, and they have ways of making money still. Right. Uh, where small businesses, which built this country, by the way, before the big corporations the came in, <laughs> um, that made this, com this country what it is, are the ones that are going to get the, the real screwing. And that's, that's kind of sad. Um, now I, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna jump in here and and uh, no don't jump <laughs> <laughs> yeah I might put a hole in the floor but anyway uh, first off I'm gonna say uh, if you're gonna support a a increase I, I could maybe get behind a buck like make it eight and a quarter I'm cool with that but uh, let me explain to you here play devil's advocate for a minute the people who are <clears throat> clamoring for this money this extra wage wages here like twelve thirteen fifteen dollars an hour. The vast majority of the people asking for that are people in metropolitan areas. And, and those metropolitan areas, the average rent for a, basically a walk-in closet with a window is $1,500 a month. They're not taking into consideration because it's so far removed from their reality that those of us that live in a smaller area like we do here, our cost of living is so much lower. I mean, like average rent around here is 500 a month. It still sucks. Well, <laughs> like five hundred is a lot of money these days, and I agree with you. And you're right. <laughs> yeah, but I can make uh, I can make eight eight dollars an hour, work forty hours a week, and afford rent. And and you're right. Uh, but the sad part is, and this is I, I promise you, it'll hold true. If the salaries go up for anybody in this country, don't you think landlords know that, and they're going to raise their rent? Quite possibly, yes. I mean, it's going to happen with the oil thing around here. I'm not saying it's going <laughs> to fix anything, but the people it's who are asking for it are the ones that their cost of living is so much higher than ours. That's why $15 sounds completely reasonable to them. Where, where for us, it's like, fuck, a skilled laborer, a, a skilled employee only makes around 15 here. Correct. I mean, and, and that's that's why they're asking and, for that. Right. But but the thing is, I at the, at the end of the day, they're still not going to have any more money because... The, Everybody else is going to have their hands in their pockets. The government, the the food stores, anybody that wants to stay in business is going to have to raise their prices to compensate for paying a it's higher a, wage and more insurance. It's a complicated <clears> system, <throat> and it's it's a lot of a lot of factors that much smarter. And I'm not saying not I'm not for some sort of a race, sure. But I I think that there needs to be. Um, a more lack of government, I think. Well, <laughs> I just, well, yeah. Your yeah. little libertarian ass over there. If, if you can get governments out of businesses' pockets, it would help the business. But there are some businesses out there, these huge corporations, 
that would just run even more rampant than they do now yeah. without the government and regulating that's, that's them, why i don't but... understand the conservative viewpoint for a small business because generally generally speaking most most uh conservatives are about removing regulations from business and it's usually large business they're referring to and without regulations most larger businesses will run over any small business. I know, business and that's why that's why you got to regulate and that the larger me. and not the smaller. Yeah, yeah, and, sure. And, and you need to get your hands out of like Main Street's pocket. Like, I agree with you. Like there. just just what Rob was like putting on about how he owns a business and everything like that. Like in my views, this is like the fucking mafia coming in and telling him things. The you protection hear, money. You should hear some of the shit. They have to test the water. They have to do this. They have to do that. And if they don't do it. It's like like the one PLCB officer said, you don't own the, your liquor license. You, you rent. just rent it from us. They're, and he's, I'm not joking, wearing a bulletproof vest with a gun and zip strips on Well, him. that's because the PLCB is bullshit. But that's but. what I'm and, saying. And the funny part about that is, uh, you know, you rent it from us. We do have to renew it every year. And now they just added an extra fee because they felt like it. I know. Uh, like, which just doubled like, hey. or, you know, went from $700 a year to renew it to $1,400 a year to renew You're just it. supposed to come up with 700 bucks an extra a year. For right. those of us outside of Pennsylvania, let me just clarify quick. The PLCB is the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. They're the fucking mafia. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all... I've always said they're like the Gestapo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because it's... And, 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 you know... I shouldn't say that because somebody watches that on price. Grude. Fuck the PLCB. But they, Fuck uh, the PLCB. Mm. There. They'll come after me now. <laughs> I know where he lives. Uh, Throw him right under the bus. <laughs> With a nose like Eddie, stop the bus. <laughs> uh, anyways, to, to my point with them is, and you're saying about you know conservatives and liberals, um, I guess what I, I, how I feel and how I view the difference between the conservatives and liberals these days is conservatives give you more opportunity to do stuff with your own money with with less taxes a little less regulation democrats would rather or liberals would would they rather tax you higher and provide all kinds of programs for people but it's and, under their rules well but I, the welfare system I, I probably shouldn't go there because this is going to be a, no. Go ahead, a, a, a you know, debate. Whatever, it's fine. The fine. Fuck welfare the point. people. I didn't really want <laughs> to do it again. I'll get the blame. <laughs> I really didn't want to come like a political genre today. I just wanted to come out here and make. But fun no, of that's the people. point. You yeah. know, we talk but, about things that are going on, system, and this is going on. The welfare system should not be a job. It mm -hmm. should be a, not a career choice. I agree with helping out people who need help. But there should be a limit on how long you can be on it for. Uh, because then I think you're just abusing the system. A lot of people are. <laughs> you know, and, and taxes would not be that high if we did not have to support programs like that. Now, yeah. if, if you got a disability, a legitimate dis yeah. uh, disability, yeah. take care of our people. Exactly, exactly. Or our elderly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fucking insane that the cost that, that people endure to put their elderly people in a home if they cannot take care of them. Yeah. I would rather fund that. These, these people are who created us and, and gave us the rights we have, and we don't take care of them, or we can't take care of them financially, and it's fucking bullshit. I know. But yet, we'll give Joe Schmo down the street welfare for 15 years, 10 years, 8 years, <laughs> whatever, and he's perfectly healthy and capable of holding a job. I know. It, or she, or, or, yeah. or whatever, you know. Um, but if you have a true disability, you know, you got... A knee problem, back yeah. problem, mental problems, whatever. <laughs> um, I know a girl's on disability because she has anxiety. <laughs> I, know, like, I got fucking anxiety when I wake up every goddamn day. That's why you hunt and kill things. And, and, exactly. And, and when I'm I don't not gonna, kill shit, it pisses me off. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and, and say to you that there is no such thing as the welfare queen and there's no such thing as people who live off of it because there is. Any kind of social help system, there is going to be people who abuse that system yeah, and i they, get right. you there they just filmed a guy that he bought like all this lobster and shit at a grocery store with his welfare card right the fuck you want to call it and then or, he goes and buys like 200 dollars in uh, lottery tickets right that sure that, just had <laughs> that one, does happen what about that chick that just had her access card up for fucking auction <laughs> yeah, on facebook I know, I know that was a big deal that made the news and everything well right hell there. yeah it's a big deal <laughs> yeah. you know but and she didn't even get charged for it i know because I know. she didn't actually sell it i know right well, and, so she should not be allowed to have it <laughs> I know. no you know if you don't need it, fucking take her off of it. Right. I mean, there are some cases of abuse of the system, and there is. But uh, I just want to tell you this. If you look, there's actually charts you can find relatively easy with a quick search on Google. 
the you're, vast you're majority to a redneck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying here Google. is the the vast majority of people who are on welfare are on it for less than three months because they are little legit, legitimately normal people who fell on hard times for a little while and need a little boost to get them out back on their feet and then they're back on the workforce and everything's hunky dory. Who? Where did this graph come from? Uh, this one right here is compared from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And you believe that? <laughs> Absolutely, because that's what we're. That's all we ask. So, anyway, uh, this one right here, you know, on average, the annual spending by families with children under eighteen, those who are not on assistance, uh, spend for food nine thousand five hundred thirty-nine dollars, whereas family who are on assistance spend an average of six thousand four hundred sixty dollars a month. Uh, no way, that's a month. No, I don't. Who think the hell spending that kind of money? On? I know. What I'm a fat man. I don't spend that kind of money on that beer, is baby. A, yeah, beer, man. That baby. is a uh, yearly. That's a yearly average. Okay. Uh, housing that, that makes more sense to me. Ha- housing here uh, for housing people who are not on assistance spend twenty two thousand eight hundred thirty three, whereas people who are on housing assistance spend an average of eleven thousand eight hundred thirty five. Wait a minute. Now they're spending. How are they talking about spending? Because if they're Section Eight and they get free housing, that is going to be way miscued. It doesn't. It doesn't really go into that. But I mean, the food. There's a the, the, the across the board here. You can see between food, housing, apparel and services, transportation, healthcare, entertainment. Insurance and pensions and other, uh, the the group that is on welfare spends significantly less on each and everything. Wait, wait, wait. But wait, there are spend welfare and entertainment. Well, I mean, you you can use cash assistance to pay for TV. That's fucking weird. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I see, and I got a problem. <laughs> I, I got a problem weird. with that. I know it's just weird. To I, me. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that the assistance should be to maintain your health and put a roof <laughs> yeah. over your head. It, it should be, and that's there's so, there's a lot of things. And if you that want things in life, beyond that, go out and pay for it. I know. <laughs> there's a lot of things that cross beyond that. I agree with you there, but I mean the the significant. It was significantly the, the way it's less. abused, though. And like I said, if there's somebody that legitimately needs it. I support you. I think it's entertainment fund. <laughs> You're still stuck on I, it, dude. I don't even. I can afford cable, this. and I don't get cable. He does this. <laughs> like, I just, why would you get cable when you're a freaking computer nerd? I, exactly. That's why I don't get you it. You can watch whatever you want. Exactly. On there. That's why I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just pissed because I don't know how to use this shit. <laughs> part part of the entertainment budget, I should probably say, includes the internet, which today is not an option anymore. It's a necessity. But well, when you're poor and you can't afford to feed yourself, internet is not an option. To feed listen, yourself first. The, my, <laughs> like I said, I, I agree that you know we should help out each other, and mm-hmm. it doesn't happen often enough in this country where we as person to person help each other. Yeah, Instead, right. we have the government taking from some and giving to others, saying this is how we're going to help people. Mm-hmm. And then it just doesn't work. I just believe a lot of times for us in a rural community like this is e- we know our neighbors, we know yeah. people, and, and, and you if know, somebody were to struggle, we'd be the first to come exactly. bail them out. Exactly. However, if you if you look at people that are there, the the bulk of the liberal populations, like your New York City, mm-hmm. there are just so many human beings there. There's no way for you to know. I know, them. and exactly. they all say me, me, yeah. me, and that's why people. Well, it's not even that they say well, me, me, me. During this whole election, by the way. Fuck some of these people on TV. This whole uneducated white man, you're looking at him. Right here, this guy. I didn't go to school for four years, but I own my own fucking business. I've owned two fucking houses. I got, I've had my own fucking Harley, my own fucking vehicles. I'm getting along. I feel like people okay. were, were more hung up on that when it was mm-hmm. u- meant to be used as a descriptor. It was a, not it's a very, not a very good one. descriptor. It yeah. wasn't a very nice descriptor. No. I know, because once these rich they people or whatever, uh, phones or cars broke, they took it to uneducated white people. They should yeah. have referred to them <laughs> the as non college educated. And by the way, the uneducated white man, that's who built this country. <laughs> Just saying. But, but to tell you, some of the people that I've seen these days that go to college are the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. Well, you know, back, <laughs> back in the no day, common sense. <laughs> back in the day, it used to be that somebody could go and be a factory worker yeah. and make enough money to pay for a house. And you can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, there's a local grocery store around here, Wises. It's called Wises. You used to be able, back in the day, because they were like an older 40s, 50s maybe, you used to be, live your whole life, retire from Wises. Now it's considered a shitty job. Yeah, it's a shit job. But back in the day, somebody could go get a job working at, a, at an auto parts manufacturer, yeah. and they could make the money to go pay for a house, and their wives yeah. would be able to stay home with their children. And I still say that's part of the evolution of our government, though. I know. Maybe. If you look at our government, it's gotten bigger, bigger, and more involved in uh the everyday life of every human being in some fashion uh back in you know in the 40s and 50s when the men were men we are not men anymore 
I'm sorry, we have way too many gadgets to do everything for us. Oh, we realized that when we saw that revolutionary fort in Pittsburgh. We were like, well, they the, built all French, this shit by hand? French and Indian fort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're like, like, Fort oh. Ligonier, <laughs> awesome place to go. <laughs> yeah, but good vacation it, it, spot. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, it really puts into perspective, I wrote a perspective for you. Um, we don't have, you know, back then they didn't have these tractors that, that freaking jerk you off while you're in air conditioning <laughs> watching the internet. While you're plowing a fucking field, by the way, yeah. and it turns by itself. We didn't yeah, you have, had a fucking ox with a goddamn uh, yeah, they didn't have that. Those plow were, on it. Those were men and women, and they were tough son of a bitches. You know, nowadays, uh, we, because of them, have the right to protest. And they and used to live to the candy. ripe old age of died in childbirth. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, I'll tell you what. Some of these farmers <laughs> ain't lard every day. God bless them because they're as skinny as a rail and they're yeah, 95 That's because they work. Years old. I know. Those That's people know how work. to work. Yeah. Yeah. I, look, look at Pete. <laughs> I know. Our buddy Pete, man, he hauls around a fucking chainsaw all day long. He'll wire you some bitch, but he's worse than I ever could. Yeah, he just drinks beer and eats bacon all day. <laughs> like no, <laughs> burgers, french fries, yeah. bacon. Uh, he, His diet regiment, you know, if I did that, there wouldn't be room for you two assholes on screen <laughs> because I'd be that freaking big. But the fact is, he's a very physical person. He hunts a lot. He, he uh, He's carrying a 14, 15-pound chainsaw through the woods all day long. But you look at him, and you got to have much respect because he's still doing a lot of shit old-school ways. Yeah, sure. Just, and, and then and you look at the things that, that we do, even in the cooking industry, how things have Oh, evolved. my God. We, we're so spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're no, so yeah. fucking there, There's so many things now that have changed to – uh, help us out, and and it's made us weaker. The dishwasher alone, <laughs> yeah. Well, the POS system. Well, that's I, like I said about how you were talking about the ox and shit. You had a tractor that did your fields that broke. You got a new tractor. You repaired it. Your ox fucking died. You had to wait to breed another one or go like fucking thousands of go miles. Trade to corn them. for another <laughs> ox. But you got a question: Who was doing the breeding? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the yeah. farmer's daughter, hopefully. Yeah, Solomon <laughs> County. You know, there's sheep everywhere. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> No, going down the road like stop, <laughs> dad, dad. <laughs> oh, the farmer wants you to pay for his kids. And... Yeah, huh? that's the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't fit, but it was still funny. That's still my favorite line or oh. sound clip. You know, the best time I think I had at the BF F frog, whatever we want to call. What's that? <laughs> the place we used to be employed. <laughs> Anyways, the day that John King called me a motherfucker in front of you. And all I did was laugh. I was like, yes. Yes, I am. Jared's like, I fucking hate all of you. One day I burped and John sniffs and he goes, Mom? No, I burped. Oh. I burped. Oh, yeah, John yeah, yeah, sniffed. Yeah, burped. He's like, well, Jared, does that smell like home? <laughs> Motherfucker. <clears throat> and that's hilarious. Oh, my, just... my favorite story from there ever was uh, we had a new dishwasher guy coming in and uh, Ron was trying to get us to all behave, which was not an easy task to begin with. Oh, by the way, kids, this is number three for counting. <laughs> He's disgusting. Anyway, uh, we, he was trying to get us to all behave and not swear and be ourselves, essentially. So well, I wanted just... to act a little professional, and I know that's pretty fucking hard for all of us sometimes, me included. <laughs> well, we were all, we had just finally got us to all stop being a bunch of fucking heathens. And uh, <laughs> took not a but, lot of torture, right? <laughs> not but two seconds later, one of our servers comes walking and throws his hands up in the air and goes, "What's up, motherfuckers?" <laughs> Rod just throws his hands up in the air, puts his hands on his head, and walks away. <laughs> yeah. I remember the one guy that came, and in only the- because there was a guy in there, a professional guy fixing the dishwasher. And I didn't want to look like we were all just. Um, by Heathens. the way, uneducated white males, just saying, <laughs> uh, which we could truly, completely do most of the time. Well, yeah, we're a started. bunch of what, savages. What was the name of that uh, dish machine company? Ecolab. Eco, yeah. Was it Eco? Yeah, it was the same guy, wasn't it? Jeff. Yeah, I caught him uh, staring at one of the waitresses' ass, and he looked at me, and he knew I, I caught him, and I was like, don't worry, buddy, it is nice. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, he was like, oh my God, what's going on? To be fair, it was nice. <laughs> I know. I Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I We're do. not mentioning her name. <laughs> AMG! <laughs> Uh, her eyes were too far apart man she looked like fucking (laughs) et yeah but she wanted to go down the freezer and defrost it with casey and he wouldn't fucking do it there was no i know you dumbass he's like that's what a freezer's for yeah this whole time that they worked together he's like hot to try like hey baby (laughs) and and then next thing you know she's like hey you want to fuck 
There's and no, he's like, well, there's no. no proof of that. There's no yeah, proof right. Well, yeah, me and my <laughs> wife were sitting there. Standing there. Yeah. yeah, there's no proof of that. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> he didn't even have to hold the door for her though. Dumb fuck. <laughs> I know. Ooh, Jesus, yeah. how dare me? And nor did you have to make her vegan food. <laughs> yeah, I know. Back in the day, you know that guy she was dating. You were being all more, you know, moral. I no, no, no. Here's he spray painted his beard no, on. No, I know no. Here's the thing. You, if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you have a boyfriend. Well, it is it is 21st know, century. And, it could be And you don't like them or you don't want anything to do with them and you're looking for something else. Talk about feminism sticking up for yourself. Be a fucking woman and get rid of the guy. It's not my job to get rid of your guy. All she, w- <laughs> all she would have had to do is lick her thumb and wipe his fake beard off. <laughs> no. Uh, I hated that he guy. He one of them spray painted on beards. I remember one time he ordered a you cheese steak and I put it like a thousand toothpicks in it. <laughs> I, I remember one time fucking Mark Hammer. God love that guy. Oh, that's right. He knows Hammer that was on the show. I know. I went to school with him. <laughs> he worked for me. He is. He is. He is one of the fucking funniest people I've ever met in my life. Mm. This girl that Casey has his heart on for. It, it, uh, oh, God. Plays oh, oh I love this story. This story. <laughs> <laughs> is in with her parents for lunch one day. And Hammer went out and introduced himself. And comes back and says, hey, Casey. Angela wants you to go out there and meet her parents. <laughs> so Casey goes out and he's like, yes. And she's like, oh, I didn't ask for you. Here, Hammer set him up and lied to him yeah. just to embarrass him in front of her parents. I did say, Hammer, you're fucking full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the best part of the whole story is Casey had this cup of sunflower seeds he was gnawing <laughs> on that day. Comes back in the kitchen and says, Hammer, you motherfucker, and hits this foam Cup. Yeah, it was like a coffee yeah, cup. Coffee. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> foam cup of sunflower seeds, which go flying all over the fucking place, which made my fat guy titties jiggle <laughs> because I'm laughing so fucking hard. Jesus Christ! He's like motherfucker. It smacks was. it. Oh that my god! That was probably god. one of the most embarrassing times of my oh, life. Oh, and Hammer's over in the corner just rolling. Oh, he's on the freaking floor <laughs> rolling around. Dick. Oh, he is. See, see, the thing with Hammer is you yeah, never believe part... a thing he says. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly He true. lies. <laughs> you know you're getting set up. We knew you were getting set up. I just. Uh, you even knew you were getting set up. No. I, no, hey, I first. Because I even says, told him. I'm he, like, you're full of shit. And the reason I did it because he wouldn't stop doing it. No, about it. you I was did like, it if I go out there, will you stop talking about it? Because Pete would say you did it because pussy is a powerful thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it is. It smells <laughs> nice. Unless she doesn't wash herself. <laughs> well, on that cleansing note, uh, <laughs> trying to think of another good one about that. Well, with Hammer, oh my God, he and Michelle used to fucking go at it. <laughs> it was a love hate relationship between those two. <laughs> The jelly no toast thing. Oh, well, <laughs> no. I, All no. jelly and no toast. Uh, no, I'm talking about when he told her she was like Crisco. She's like, what's that mean? He's like, you know, you're fat in a can. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> she kicked him in the knee. He was yelling at him. She's like, well, you're so fat. You got five uh, thumbs. <laughs> And Hammer's like, oh, I know I'm fat. He's like, and that's funny, five thumbs. He's like, I get it. They look like fucking It's another dude. fat joke. Yeah. I've never heard of fat yeah. joke. <laughs> oh, but when he said that to her, the whole fucking kitchen cracked up, and she turned every shade of purple and red. And I swear to God, if she would have had a gun, he was dead. <laughs> he was just dead. If looks could kill, he'd have been No, because I remember walking away one time, and he was like looking at her butt, and he's like, mm, all that jelly and no toast. <laughs> of course, Campanelli would say, all oh, meat and no potatoes. <laughs> Oh, she was a little light in the upstairs department. If you want to, if you're not following us along here, well, you gotta say she had, had little tits. <laughs> Way to be subtle, Ron. That is not my strong point. It's called openly hostile opinions. Yeah, get fucking hostile. <laughs> Stand just, up for yourself. Oh, I'm wait, just being. You are. I'm just being subtle for humor. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, Jay's really short. <laughs> And you know that's the best part about being around Jared. Hey, we we do love one another, even though when people see us in public, they're like, some days like just smack them uh, in the knees with a baseball bat. But yeah, well, they're thinking we're like of mice and men, and I'm Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me again about the rabbits, George. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we have a good time at each other's expense, which is always good. But you know, yeah. getting over on Jared is pretty easy. Yeah, that you is. Know. Yeah, all you gotta do is go like this. <laughs> well, no, I just mean because I have the ultimate, you know. Yeah, right. your mom. Or yeah, you, or you could be like Jay and said about how uh, Ben Roethlisberger is taller than him. <laughs> when he said that, I was like, really, I meant Jay? taller than him. I <laughs> slipped. Like, really, Jay? Yeah, it's a slip of the fucking. Time. You know, we got to see him at the Pittsburgh Zoo. Yeah, that's and, the story we were talking about. Oh, so cool! And I had such a bro crush. 
You know, and I'm <laughs> not that type of person normally. I've never he heard was you drooling. Heard, I never heard you say the I, word I, burrow. I, I saw, <laughs> so. I saw a little stream of drool coming out of his mouth there. And I'm just looking at him like starstruck. I'm like, holy fuck, because nobody's seen him. I see him. I said to Tony, I was like, that's fucking Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, Ron and I are both staring. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was like pinching it down. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> But we refrained from going over and talking to him because he would, you know, he was with his, yeah, his family. On that. Yeah, I he was with his children, yeah. and I wanted to be respectful. I mean, if I'm going to come on your show and tell people to be respectful, you got to <laughs> yeah. you know, he, be and respectful. He, and he does have a history of not being very happy when somebody interrupts his family. Time. But I'm not, I'm not afraid of him, it. so I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm just saying, Ben's it's, my man. It's Ron clear, actually is the only person I know that would get into a fight with Ben Rappers. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's no, clear he that. doesn't. I, I couldn't hit him. I'd let him hit me ten times. But uh, I'm a huge Steelers fan, and uh, to me, he's the best quarterback they've ever had, and quite quite mm-hmm. possibly the best quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. Um, so, Ben, if you ever watch these two fuckheads, <laughs> trust me, I wasn't going to hit you. You could have hit me several times, but um, anyways, just get off of me getting hit because I, I generally don't take kindly to it. But, um, so what are you guys going to talk about now? i kind of been ranting and raving this whole time. You Actually, guys, you we're I about think, out of time. Yeah, we're about out of time. It's about an hour. Well, fuck you. We go for part two now. <laughs> well, it's we can't because Jay has to pee. <laughs> you have the bladder of a fucking chipmunk. Oh, yeah, I do. I really do. I'm on beer number three, which, by the way. I just is... drank a whole coffee. <laughs> what a pussy. <laughs> I'm on a pot now. Leave me alone. Hey, you what? Not... I'm on a pot of coffee at this point. Oh, I thought you said you're on a pot. I'm like, what? You and Terry hanging out this <laughs> morning? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wake and bake or what? Wake and bake, dude. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> like, I like my green <laughs> eggs and ham. <laughs> well, clearly you enjoyed yourself, Ron, so be sure to come back on the show again. Yes, Fuck please. yeah, but next time we got to make fun of each other. This was too serious. Oh, no, we enjoyed it, dude. Whatever. It was a good time. No, I, no, no. I, I had to get some shit off my chest because... Oh, it's good. Especially, by the way, if you're watching Gary. Yes, you, Gary. <laughs> you. <laughs> Hey. Whose last name uh, starts with Hawk. Yes, you. <laughs> uh, when our servers refuse to serve your dumbass, I don't want to hear a goddamn thing. Hey, you fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're pointing at the, car- at the camera calling it Gary, but you know, <laughs> it's not really. He does watch the show. Uh, he's, he's in there somewhere. <laughs> well, no, he's really not, I promise you. He's not really anywhere. Uh, you Except know, we, to the buffet because you're fat. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Gary is fat. I'm sorry. No, did you see he shaved his head? By the way, yeah, he had to do it. He did a Facebook thing where he had to get a hundred comments and a hundred likes, or he'd have to shave his head from different people yeah. trying to raise money for. Oh, that's why I did it. Something I, I don't think know he what. Had a heart. What? <laughs> no, he doesn't have much of a heart. Uh, he's got a great kid though. Car- yeah, his kid Car- is Carter's fun. hilarious. His, his and, kid is And fun. God bless his, his fiance because if Gary was <laughs> yeah, my man, yeah. he'd been dead. I don't know how you deal with his shit. No. <laughs> like, I really don't. Um, <laughs> Gary, you're a saint. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the follow up on that, his nickname is Gus. Because <laughs> if you don't know, Pete has a dog which is very backwards and very stupid. Well, <laughs> I was going to say. Very uneducated white. <laughs> no, because he's black and tan. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he, he he's not with it. Uh, he's got some issues, and he's got a bum leg. So when he runs, it just throws off to the side like that. <laughs> so we nicknamed Gary Gus after Pete's dog. Oh man, that's, oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, no, it's it's sad because Gary now thinks it's a fucking compliment. <laughs> he tells everybody, he's like, "I love it." They call me Gus. I'm like, "But we were making fun of a dog." <laughs> That has a lot of disabilities. I know. Since he shaved his head, he looks like a, a Mr. Clean with diabetes. <laughs> no, I'm just he's kind of got a stay puff, stay puff marshmallow man sort of yeah, thing going on. But as a fat guy, you should know your head is round like a bowling ball nah. because you got cheeks. I mean, I got cheeks. Thank God I have a beard to cover him a little bit. <laughs> uh, but now he shaved everything. It's like, holy fuck, Gary. You have a white bowling ball on your shoulders. It's better than that pedo stash he had for a while oh, there. Yeah, no, yeah. I liked when he was rocking out the pedo stash. <laughs> hey, he looked classic 70s. Yeah, he looked like a cop. No, nah, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Pedophile cop. No. Nah. Uh, well, no, wait, he's up there. <laughs> yeah, right, well, we better down. wrap this up. We're <laughs> running well, way If you wrapped time. it up, you wouldn't have got caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Well, you know the drill, everybody. Subscribe, like, fucking comment, fucking send us some shit. Yeah, Just don't put so. anything negative about me. <laughs> or they'll, they'll, they'll hurt, find you and break I'll your have, neck. I'll have to hurt them. <laughs> no, thanks to, thanks to you know the Polish Popeye here. <laughs> I think I'm more like Brutus, though. We yeah. talked Brutus. about this. Yeah, you're definitely more Brutus. He's the Polish Brutus, then, all right? But, all right. No, he is very busy and stuff. He he does own his own business. So thank you 
for, again for coming on and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. And Thank o- you very much. And OpenlyHostileOpinions.com is live. We have our merchandise there. We have all our videos linked there. So check it out. We're live. <laughs> No, we're not live. Oh, okay. That would have been even better because I would have mooned everybody and you fuckers couldn't have cut it out. <laughs> you still can. We don't care. <laughs> That'd be openly hostile. <laughs> See y'all next have week, a good guys. One. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>